I wonder if we need so much. Go away. Hello and welcome back. My name is Charisma. This is my Osiris gameplay. We are on episode 7, I believe it is. Uh, right, okay. We were in the, obviously, the habitat at the moment. Uh, we've been kicking it out, so uh, we... Basically, we can kind of survive here. Uh, we do need to do another few things. I've redone this door here because I need another habitat so I can place the fabricator when we get it. And this one is going to go out to the biodome. Uh, I can't do that just yet, so I won't be doing that just yet. There are a few things that we need to be doing uh, and need to be getting on with so we can sort of go up to a different uh, planet. Where did I, where did I put it? Can we go through please? Thank you. Okay. So we're going to put it here. I, I don't know what happened then. I just uh, obviously didn't come through the door right but never mind right so there is the uh, computer desk now what we do on here is we de decrypt those discs that we have uh, in not this one in this one uh, the data discs now it's 851.47 we've got 851.47 now we have uh five of those i believe yes we have five of those three attempts on each so if we get them wrong we we've got others that we can just uh, continue to do i think it look, just teaches you the same thing uh we've got uh two of those i believe yeah and two five two five two five two five two five four of those uh one of the three threes and three of the three fives now i did sort of do a um a video on those uh, when I did the last season uh, I did the last se uh, set of uh, videos so there is that I don't know if they're the same but we'll have to wait and see anyway we'll do that in a moment when the night time is here so whoops but what I do want to do is I do want to put uh, another habitat on uh, not that one uh, structure. Do you want to build another habitat? Uh, yes. It's gonna go. Okay. That's fantastic. There we go. Okay, so that opens up this as well. It just opens up the uh, couple anyway. Okay. So let's kind of see what we we need for the normal walls. Uh, we should be okay. We can put some windowed walls in down here, but I'm not too bothered at the moment. Um, I just basically want to try and get some walls up on it and uh, a roof. We might need some more steel, uh, to be honest. We can always change these doors out for windowed ones and things, so... I did kind of gather everything, get everything sort of organised for... Uh, the recording. So I'm going to show you what I meant by uh, the roof bit of this. I wanted to show you that you, you know just how to go about that. Well, you want to build a double story one like we've done sort of here. If I can actually get the walls on. <laughs> uh, we do need to get a couple of machines inside, sort of the oxygenator and uh, climate control, so that is something I want to get on. So when you come to doing the roof, you have the option that you have with the doors, uh, sorry the walls, uh, to choose kind of what wall you want. So you'd go to this, you'd either have the skylight, uh, just a normal ceiling uh, that you can build upon, and um, you know, you could put like the turrets and things on, and there's a couple of ceiling. There you go. But that's the one where it will give you uh, a taller habitat. So if you look there, it says for building taller hab structures. 
um, but you can just put a normal ceiling on which will just be a flat roof ceiling so you could add an, another one from the top there you could add another I think you could put another another habitat on top of this I believe that's what we did in the uh, previous season uh, we did that as a couple and then we did another sort of habitat on top so we had two kind of habitats that we could put fabricators on so I want to actually just put a normal uh, roof on a normal ceiling on so we can see whether or not when it comes to it uh, we can just put another habitat straight on top of that and we'll put a coupler in uh, but I do need iron uh, I am constantly doing that I apologize profusely guys I really don't mean to uh, we do have quite a few bullets for this uh, gun now so that's something okay so this is the new habitat obviously <laughs> Okay, so we'll go to whoops, we'll go to that one. And um, we want to put a normal ceiling in. That's a couple of ceiling. Uh that's a normal ceiling. So we'll put that in. There we go. Um we can put the normal fabricator here and then when we learn the advanced fabricator we can put it in one that's going to be sort of upstairs. So if I want to get to it, I'll just use the lift and go up and go straight across. Uh I know it's a little bit of faffing, but you can do different things on the advanced fabricator. You can do the same things, but, you know, it's, it's just so we have them. Um, I'm not sure whether or not we need to do the climate control in each one or the oxygen in each one. I am not entirely sure um, offhand. Uh, but that's that's kind of it, guys. That's um, that's all you need to do to sort of get a, another sort of one of these. And then you can either build some defenses on top of this um, and you know sort of have your turrets on there or, or whatever or another another one of these I build them all the way around you know and sort of have this mass <laughs> like turrets on each one entirely up to you how you set out your base uh, but that's just uh, I know you can't really see at the moment, but that's just all that is, uh, like so. And then it's just a normal, a normal flat kind of roof. I can't get up there. Oh well, never mind. Uh, you might need to put a uh, what do you call it, solar panel uh, around there, unless you get the bigger solar panel. Now we need to learn before we can actually start building the vehicles. Uh, I mean, you might as well do it before you start building the vehicles because you're going to need to collect a lot of gases up for uh, the fuel. So we need to build some kind of tankers so we can ho hold the fuel. So that's something that we're going to need to be doing really, really soon because I would like to get the spaceship and I would like to get to a different planet. I do want to obviously collect everything that I want to be taking with me to the planet uh, so I don't have to um, mess around basically I want to be able to build a habitat I want to be able to build um, a laboratory because I want to be able to build a mecha crab while I'm there because the mecha crab is really really good for kind of the rough terrain uh, we do have an inflatable dome that we can take with us so we should be okay we can set up like a base camp up on a different planet just so when we do go there we've got what we need there and uh, that's going to sort of take a little bit of planning at the moment though however i do want to show you um not that uh the gas tanks there you go so we're going to need to to learn that to start with because it's still locked uh, and then we're going to need to build a couple now the liquid tanks is just for uh, the water uh, I I believe uh, I don't know whether you, or not you can put tree sap in that but I I know it's just for liquids and uh, obviously gas tanks are just for your gas so we're going to need to build a few so because you need like a couple of different gases to obviously make um, the fuel 
which uh, is not that one. I think it might actually just be in the other in the other one. Is it in the actual one that's inside? I think you can only do it on the chem the chem station that's inside. So you have to advance forward and get these ones. Those are, those are only temporary. The ones that are outside. So. Da, da, da. I cannot find it right now. I don't know where the fuel is. Do not know. I need to actually find that because I would like to actually show you, unless we do it in here. Uh, no, we do the barrels in here. Hmm. Where is the fuel? Where is the vehicle fuel? Am I just not seeing it? Am I just not seeing it? Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I need to actually put the gas containers down for it, but... Hmm. Crafting more advanced items. No? 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 Okay. Maybe we actually need something else then. Is there something else we actually need? I don't think so. We can actually build the inflatable domes, by the way. If you want to have a couple of those. And we're also going to need it to do the oxygen tanks as well. We actually need oxygen tanks. If you're going to go and do any space walking, you're going to need a few of these on you. Uh, cause that is the thing. I can't find the fuel at the moment, guys. I don't know whether or not I've actually uh, learnt it. We might it might actually have to be learnt, to be honest. Uh, and into the matrix tab, let's have a look at the skills. Oh, we have 51 engineering. Okay, so we will learn that. Unlocks the ability to build gas tanks. Large gas tanks act as a refueling station for many vehicles. So you don't actually have to take it out. You can just go to them and refuel your vehicles from there. Uh, the, I don't think, what else do we need in the engineering? We've still got some engineering points. We might as well fill it up completely. Uh, no, oh, 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 just that one. It's just that that's left now. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. I uh, have a little bit of combat, so... I think we'll go for that, and then we can learn to make those bullets as well. I think. And we haven't got enough in science to uh, learn anything else yet, so... I can't see anything in there. Let's have a quick look around. No, I mean, that that's hydrogen canister. Uh, anything there about the fuel? Nothing there about the fuel. Why? Well, I don't know. That's a little bit confusing. But now we were able to do the fuel last time. Maybe because we've learnt the gas canister now. No, I'm just not seeing it, guys. I'm just not seeing it. But anyway, anyhow. Any holes. Uh, we will sort of be building the gas containers. Uh, workbench, nothing on there. Uh, there is nothing in here about fuel. I don't think you'd put the heat in it anyway. So, and uh, nothing in the repair amount. Okay. It could be on the fabricator though. For all I know, I that might be work where I've seen it. Wow, so much to do. So much to do, so little time. I really would like to get to the other planets, so we need to learn the fabricator. Oh, it's furniture, isn't it? It's classed as furniture. Uh, so we do need more points, I believe. We can make one. We just need more points. 
There's nothing else there that's going to be useful right now to do. It is just the fabricator that we need to be working on getting. So, we'll get science points if we go and collect all the gases and things like that. So, what I may do is build a couple of... Not that. No. Stop. Please, stop. Furniture. No, utility. Gas tanks. Okay, so we need some rubber. Let's go and grab that. We do have some. Still. Yes, we do. Awesome. I don't think we need the plastic right now, so we'll put that away. Do have an extra steel. Don't think we need the glass, but I've been known to be wrong before. Uh, nope. We need some more copper ingots. I do want to build a couple of these. Whoa. Right, okay. Got a little bit more copper. I just want to see how many we can actually do. Let's see. Let us see. Gas jack. Okay, so it's that way round. I do actually want to put something up to um, stop these from sort of getting hit by any any mobs or anything. So fuel type, it'll tell you what fuel type is in there. It'll tell you what um, percentage it's at as well. <coughs> I think to refuel your vehicle, you just sort of uh, come over here as well. Come over here and, and uh, do it from there. But you add the contents to it there which is kind of self-explanatory we're going to do a couple because i would like to have some oxygen ones there that's not going to be helpful if i want to drive close to that is it if i kind of put oxygen in that one there and refuel in that one you can do some little ones some little liquid tanks as well I would like to do the water. Uh, furniture custom. I'm pressing the wrong one every single time. So I'm going to do a little, a little water one. Um, there we go. Actually, put that here. There we go. Any of the half full containers that you get, uh, the glass containers that you get, you can actually put in there and then fill a container totally up to the top. Then, you know, so you don't have to walk around with half full containers. You can just put it all in there and then take it all back out again. Uh, which is, you know, it helps with... Um... That thing is doing my head in. Um, which helps with obviously inventory space and all that type of thing uh, and then you can go and take some dirty water and do the proper water then I've got, I mean, let's let's just all get a little bit organized uh, and try to put things away going to need to collect some more copper and We've still got that on us. I really don't know why, but it's okay. It's okay for now. Put the fuel away. Uh, put the steel away. Put the glass away. Don't want to be keeping everything on us. And going to collect some gases. I think we'll go around and collect a couple of different ones. Maybe a little bit of oxygen. Maybe uh, a little bit of but nitrate or hydrogen just so we can get some uh, science points up I don't know why I'm doing it like that but I know we've got way too much weight on us now but again I'm going to just move some things out that goes in there with those don't need that on me right now and don't need that on me right now there we go. Did that help the situation at all? Probably not. It wasn't too bad. There we go. And what else do we have on us here? Uh, nothing. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So if we if we get some oxygen for one of them and then we get like hydrogen or, or something for that one, I 
believe that's how you do the fuel. Uh, like I say, I haven't, I haven't sort of played for a while. I uh, was waiting for the the bigger updates, so um, I'm a little bit rusty with a few things. We do need to collect some more iron and aluminium and uh, all that type of thing because wow we need so much when we go to the other planet so much uh i need that on me what are you doing hey it wasn't exactly uh doing anything then really weird what's this one uh it did show up come on Oh, for goodness sake, I'll get off then. Uh, nitrogen. I think we'll get hydrogen. I don't... Yeah, I think we'll go get the hydrogen. We need that for the plastic anyway. We're going to need to take quite a bit of plastic with us to the other planets anyway. I believe we need uh, that. There is a video that does sort of give you a rundown of uh, what items we can't get on certain planets. And that one. We'll do a couple. We will do a couple. So you're just extracting like uh, you normally would. Like so. And we'll get a, we'll get a few of those. We'll get a couple of those. Well, a few. I don't know how many we're going to be able to get. Oops, there we go, it just ran out. So we're going to wait till it sort of fills up again just so we can fill this one. I believe that's the oxygen over there. <clears throat> I believe. I don't know how many of these actually fill. <coughs> I'm so sorry about my throat, guys. Uh, but there. Uh, I can't help it. It's just uh, I've had a sore throat for a few days now. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many of these canisters will actually fill the other gas containers uh, back at the base. We might need to build a couple of containers just for the hydrogen or, or the oxygen or whatever. So, come along. Come on. Come on. The things to do. I would like to learn the, the fabricator as soon as uh, possible, to be honest. Wow, I didn't fill it with a lot then, did it? Did not fill it with a lot. But I do believe that's oxygen over there. If not, there's another one round this side and we'll go and see what's round there. Wow. It's so long just standing around waiting for it to sort of re refill sort of thing. But I want to sort of keep you with me and just sort of go through the process um, of getting organised for uh, the planet sort of swap, uh, if you will, and uh, get the spaceship up and running. And I want to go through what you're going to need to be doing sort of like preparing for that which is getting the gas containers up and uh, getting them filled like I say I think we do actually need oops, the other fabricator uh, I think for the fuel I'm not entirely certain I mean please forgive me if I've if I've got that sort of information wrong <clears throat> But I will um, I will actually have a look into that. A lot that's uh, changed, really, since I played last. I do believe it's in the fabricator, though. I do want to get the fabricator built. So, how many do we have now? Seven. We don't we don't have enough for that. At all. At all. I don't know whether or not we need to go through another one just yet. No, we don't. There we go. It's fourteen. So we need, we need uh, another seven. 
which you know math not my strong suit anyway uh, but we do need another seven hopefully getting all this will help us to sort of level up that a little bit more now just going to get that many for now i know i've brought quite a few with me all right but uh, i didn't know how many i was going to sort of end up filling i don't want to spend too long uh, faffing around at the uh geysers 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 whatever you call them uh that's nitrogen as well so if you need nitrogen there are two sort of nitrogen ones here uh okay let us go around to this over here I know there's a crab here but uh we've got the we've got the weapons now sort of to deal with it if we need to There's also a skelly pod. Oh, I know. Okay. Go away. I wonder we need so much. Go away. There we go. Right, we'll go and get the uh, skelly pod. Wow, didn't we get to see what was in that then? Come here, you. I want to go flying. Oops, that was totally, totally missed him. Hey, hey. it was going to go flying right okay so number one yes we do we have oxygen here so it's not very far away from osiris base one and if you don't mind sort of standing here for a little while to uh fill these up and wait for them to sort of respawn then you can get a decent amount oops we've got a couple of oxygen for now we'll see how much more we can get i know we're getting sort of uh, encumbered but that can't be helped i'm afraid i can just wait around a little bit i don't know what that one is i think that is uh maybe nitrogen as well there is that would be three. Three lots to get nitrogen. I don't think it's a hydrogen one. Although it looks yellow like the hydrogen one over there. But it could just be the distance, you know. The distance. Come on, I'd like to fill this one up if you don't mind. I'm not going to get that if it's if it's hydrogen. Well, I may because of the points. We do actually need the points, definitely. Uh, ten. We only need another four. Hopefully, when we're putting it into the containers, that will kind of help as well. So we need another three. Wow. Oh look, another crab over there having a little little bounce around jump around jump around i don't know where it's gone i love my mecha club i love this vehicle this vehicle is just so cool which is why i used to i used to grab this one when we're at uh, the other planets because of the terrain uh, one of the terrain is, is so hilly it's really hard to sort of get around on a hover bike it's really hard to get around in the uh the gov uh so you kind of you need something that's going to sort of transfer the terrain a little bit easier and this can it, it's quite versatile actually so 
I mean, I know it kind of disappears in, in some really obscure moments, but uh, all in all, it's um, it's pretty cool. Go. Okay. I don't know how many we have now, but we're going to have a check. We have 12. Hopefully we'll get another couple when uh, where I really want to fill this up, though. I don't like going back with it half full. I want to go see what that one is, though, as well. I do want to fill this one up. I'm going to fill this one up, guys, and then we are going to just head over, see what that one is, and then we're going to head back and uh, fill up fill up the gas tanks. Uh, we need another two points, so hopefully we'll get another two points. If not, I'm going to have to come back out and do something science -y just so we get the points. Is something sciencey? Oh, skelly pod, go away! Hopefully, that's not going to come across and start causing issues. Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, for goodness sakes! I need another ten points, and then I'm not going to want to leave the stuff that's spewing out anyway. Ah, uh. OCD. I just, I can't, I can't sort of leave it half full, it's, it will irritate me when I go and take it back. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, that's back again. That is back again. Ooh, fancy, fancy, they move really weird. Um. You know, the crabs. I mean, the scallypods aren't too so bad, but the crabs, they, they move kind of weird. And they bounce around like that. Kind of bizarre. There we go. Do you want to go and see what this one is? I know we'll probably annoy, annoy this crab here, but I, I don't really care. Not doing this. Come on. Right, it means I've got to get off. Uh, hydrogen. It is a hydrogen one. Okay. Yeah, alright, crab. You just stay there and stay crabby. Stay crabby, dude. So there is two kind of uh, hydrogen ones. So I didn't have to stand there and wait all that time. But that's okay. That's what I mean about it going just a little bit weird. You see where it just disappeared then as I was going over the terrain. Kind of weird. Yeah, well, you can follow me into this dome if you want, but I don't advise it. I do not advise it. Make sure that it's gone. So you can fill up the uh, tanks. Right, okay, so you just need these on you and then you just add contents to the station. It didn't give us any points for that, but we'll see whether or not it uh, does in a moment. It's just... Right, okay. It might just be as we're collecting it, to be honest. Ah! Oh, stop it pressing the wrong button. Stop. There we go. I don't know how much this fills. We got, I think it was six. Was it six? So we'll see how many that did. So we got one, two, three, five of the hydrogen <clears throat> to put in. Okay, so that nearly filled it up but uh, five. So six of them nearly filled it up halfway. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. We'll see how many of these five do on this one.
So your container is empty. I know my container is empty. I've just emptied it. No. I mean, it could just be the hydrogen that we need, and that's why I've confused myself. But I, I apologise, guys. I'm, I really don't know um, where my head's at at the moment. Maybe lack of sleep. That doesn't help. That never helps. There you go, that's 33% that it's done the hydrogen at. But we do have two hydrogen uh, geysers right here, geysers, right there. Uh, going to do that with the seeds again because we need it for compost uh, or fertilizer. Fertilizer. I'm uh, going to put these away. I will take a couple out with me. I don't want to take them all out again. I'm, I'm only going to get another couple. There's just two more points we need to get. So don't need all of them. I'll only go for the hydrogen as well. I'll go and get the oxygen off camera. It is just on that little corner. So it's not too bad. Oh, there's another hydrogen we need to put away. There we go. We'll do that. And we'll put that away. I'm going to put these away for now as well, just while we're milling about. I'm going to put that away. I'll give over bumping into things. This light is really bright. It's kind of annoying, actually. You're trying to see where you're going and you walk into the shield. So that's 41% now. Walk into the shield and then you can't see anything. Bizarre. Bizarios. Right, okay. Uh, we need some more nitrogen. Go across in a moment. Go across in a moment when it's daytime. So there's the oxygen, there's the hydrogen. Hmm. Like I say, I don't know whether or not that's what we use. Oh my gosh. Oh, it, it deaded itself. Deaded itself. That's not even a, a word. It killed itself. There we go. That's proper English. Okay, so that's a Mark T. That's a Mark III. Shame we can't break these down to make something else, you know, or to get wires or circuit boards from them. Oh, the ones we didn't need, it would be it'd be useful if we could take them down for circuit boards or wires or plastic. Because that would give us a way uh, on the other planets as well to, because there aren't those resources up there, you can get things from the uh, some of the satellites because there are, I think, on one of the planets there is. Uh, satellites up on that one but to get sort of the wires and plastics and things like that on a different planet while you're killing the creatures up there if they drop those uh, little code things then you should be able to break them down into resources that you actually need because you can't collect the resources from there that would be kind of helpful and uh, you know You'd have to stay there a long while to get all the things that you needed to get back, but it would stop people from being stranded because they uh, didn't take uh, items with them that they needed. So, uh, just a thought there. Just a little thought there that maybe you could. But let's hopefully we can get another couple of points. There's the one. And uh, there's... Ooh. There we go. Nice. Enter science point. Now we have 14 now, so we can go to this here. Go to skills, and we can learn the fabricator. Yay! Do you need to make the large solar panel as well? And we do need to make these. Oh, goodness. 10 science points, 14 and 18. 
Okay, right, well, we'll jump on this guy here. Go back. We don't need to collect any more. We're all right for the moment for those. I just wanted to get the science points right now so we could uh, learn the fabricator. But it's looking quite cool, I think. Uh, I do want, like I say, I do want to build a custom build. Uh, but that won't be until I've uh, got the little guy back. You know, been up to the other planets and set up. Set up bases up there. So we can then just sort of like go back and forth. If we need uh, anything from those planets, we can just go up and collect any resources that we need and bring them back here to this planet. Uh, there are no more missions. Uh, either at the moment. I do believe they are putting them in. They're, they're going to have been putting them in for a while. Um, I don't know the exact sort of time line that they have for that. So. so I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Uh, oh, I don't actually. It's all in that one. So I kind of fibbed. Kind of fibbed. I need to put these in here. I can't carry these around with me. These are quite heavy. If you do get way too many of these, you can break these down into steel. Don't need to keep them as barrels. You can break them into steel. So, that's a thing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so what do we need for the fabricator? Now that we can make it. Where are you, fabricator? Again, I'm not seeing it. What is wrong with me today? Furniture. There we go. Two plastic, aluminium glass and steel. Okay, so, aluminium, that glass, oh, I don't think we've got enough steel, um, plastics, plastics, oh, we do, that's good, that is very good, so we'll get the fabricator down at least today, we might need to make another solar uh, panel though, because it might not reach here. It might not be powered because it might not reach here, so I'm going to have to bear with me guys while I organise that. And there we go. Oh, it does work. Awesome. Oh, I've not seen this before. Solar unit. You see what I mean about um, there's some things on here that I don't know about it's what they brought in after I'd done the last series uh, of this uh, but solar unit this recharges I think I I've had something similar I don't think we didn't think we could make them but there you go this recharges your batteries uh, storage so it's backpack expands your currently available storage space this does not improve the weight you can carry it just means you can carry more a booster units, boot attachment, that's quite good. A charge rifle, assault rifle, so you can do everything that you can in the uh, other one outside. Do a little bit more though. OT pump, this is a helmet attachment. Okay, it raises the oxygen stamina recharge rate. Okay, I think we had one of those so. Uh, heat cell canister reactor. I can't see the fuel thing. Beacon kit, circuit board, zirconium circuit board. No, you can't really do anything completely different, can you? There's no fuel. Maybe the fuel is just the hydrogen or whatever. Anyway, I think it might be. Wow, something wrong with my bloody head today. And don't want to put that in. We need some of that, don't we? We need the crab meat and things like that. Yeah, we need them because we need it for the um, uh, 
crab monster. Right, so this is what I mean by the water tank as well, the liquid tank. I'm going to go do that so we can actually get rid of some of these jars. Well, I say rid of some of these jars. We can actually start putting them to use and getting some, extracting some dirty water. I don't believe I could do it last time I tried to do the actual recipe, though. Okay. I'll put this away. We do have a couple of these in here, so I'm going to put them in. Crab meat. Crab meat, I think we need the four crab meat for the actual crab monster. When we go up to the other planet. Nap tongue. Ugh. Gross. Gross. And these are the uh, things that we're going to be doing in a moment. I know I'm kind of flitting around from one thing to another, but I'm I'm trying to sort of cover everything that you might need to know. There we go. Just as we're building certain things. Ah, oh, not that one. Oh, fiddlesticks! Look, I'm getting myself in a complete and utter tiz. Complete and utter tis. Right, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so... We need to sort of... Wow. Kind of add the contents as we've got it in our hands. Like so. I don't know how many actually uh, takes to fill it up though. To be honest. Right. There we go. We're doing it guys. But this does really help, um, you know, to empty these containers out, these glass containers out, because then you can use these glass containers uh, for other things you need to be carrying around with you. There are a couple of uh, recipes that you need glass containers for. So there we go, there's the 50% full. Now, if you want to extract it from there, obviously you just press G. Totally fill that one up. And that will just kind of last you that little bit longer than when you're out. Instead of taking a half full container out with you, you just need to take the one then, like so. So it kind of it kind of helps if you've got this here, so you can um, put it all in and then just sort of fill one one container up. Otherwise, you end up walking around with like four or five or six uh, half full containers, and it's just a bit silly. There we go. And you need water for some of the recipes as well, actually. So this does help. And there we go. Now we've got all these containers now that we can use for other recipes. There we go. I can here. Give over. Alright, so you, we can make some water with the containers here. We just need oxygen and hydrogen. So we need to have that on us. Uh... There we go. So we need to have dirty water on us. I think you can only collect it in these. I don't know if you can collect it in the barrels, to be honest. I don't think so. 
Uh, but you need to have the dirty water on you and then you have to have the glass container. Again, you've got, got this, but you need to have an empty glass container to be able to do it. So, uh, hyaluronic acid. Hydrazine. I can't read that word. Never mind. <laughs> but these are used, uh, these type of things are used for crafting these things as well. There you go. And you collect tree sap uh, in these glasses as well, in these glass jars. So if you need to go, if you need to build this, you need to make this, and you need the tree sap, you need the empty jars. So it does help having the liquid container around that side so you can empty those out. Okay, let's put these away now. I'm going to have to put them inside. Goodness gracious me, it's all go today. It was just so I could get organised and sort of finished up in here. I was trying to get it all done and then obviously the hydrogen thing sort of uh, scuppered me a little bit. That's four seven. Uh, should we take a couple of those with us? We might need to do it a couple of times. In fact, I'm going to take all of them with me. I would like to be able to take them apart. It would help greatly. And that's 21. That's a 21. That's a 25. I had organised them, but we weren't faffing around too much. Which I still am kind of faffing around and I apologise. I do worry a lot about messing about too much. I don't like I don't like keeping you and messing you around way too much, so right, so we've got it tells you on here which ones they are, they're all the same. So all you do have it in your inventory and then we just go to here to decrypt. Now basically it's just a puzzle. So we need to go from here, really, and if you work your way backwards, it kind of helps. Like so. Ugh. I'm awful at these when I first start out. I first start them, I'm horrible. See if that actually works better. There we go, yay, first time. Okay, that was really cool. Uh, what did we learn, by the way? What did it say we learnt? I didn't see. I didn't see what it said. Oh, fiddlesticks. So, we kind of took it this way. This. Just in case you have the 47 one. So, all that way. And then, heavy assault, locked heavy assault data disk. Okay. So you can get sort of rid of them by doing all those. I, th I think you get points for doing it. I think you actually get science points for doing it. Shall we try again? I know I'm I'm doing it a couple of times, but uh, did I just do that wrong then? If I did, as long as you don't use all your um, attempts, you should be fine. Yes, you actually get the three science points. So you could just keep doing them and, and get in the uh, science points. So once you've done it and you know the sequence that is needed, you can do it and collect the science points up. Four science points. Nice. 
At least it gets rid of them as well from your bags. Because they do take up a little bit of space. I'll give over. I just, I did that on purpose, so it didn't look like I was memorising the sequence. <laughs> Although I did. Okay, so we learnt the heavy assault rifle. Now, I don't, I really don't know what that um, kind of entails, but heavy assault rifle. I mean, we already knew the assault rifle, so... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I do not know. Oops. Were they still in our bags there? Uh, oh, there we go. Learn the blueprints. So you actually just learn them. Okay. No blue, no new blueprints to learn. So then you obviously just have to get rid of the uh, the data disks. Then so you can just throw them, or sort of keep one. Um, keep one so you know which ones you've actually learned. Make a note. Keep them. There we go. I want to sort of move these down so they're all in kind of a nice little little order. Right, okay. So we've got that one, that one. Don't want to do all of them, but uh, we'll see. I want to keep one of those. Uh, we don't want that one, don't want that one, and we don't want that one. Two, five. That's two five. That's two five. We've only got one of the three threes, so we need to be really careful with that one. So we don't um, lose our chance to learn something. So three five, three five, three five, two five, two five, two five, two five, two five and two three. Okay. Okay then, let's go and see, shall we? Where's the computer gone? There it is, come on. For the data disks, we want to do the 2 1. Okay. I kind of. They look similar to the ones that. I did before. Wow, there we go. So, Pathlight data disk, okay. Um, yeah, they look similar to the ones that I've done that are on the uh, video uh, that I've done before, so. I'm just going to go a little bit slow, just in case you do have the 2-1, just so you can sort of see the pattern. But seeing as though we get the science points for doing this, I'd rather kind of do them. So, and tab inventory. We only had two of those. So we can learn the blueprints. I want to keep hold of that. We do only have one of these. So I want to be really, really careful when doing this one. <clears throat> we do have three attempts, so that's that's not too bad. That can only go one way, so that's that way. That's going to need to be that way. I know I say go backwards, but sometimes you have to go the normal way, like so. So that is the three three. 
it's just that kind of a, of a pattern for it so there we go I know this takes a little bit of time and I'm, I do apologize for that uh, path like data this we did learn one of those so we need to learn the blueprints of that we can't keep hold of one because uh, we only had one of them anyway uh, well, two five now so two five uh that can only go that way i think this goes all the way down this way this one something similar right so this is only going to be able to go one way so that has to go that way that has to go that way Hmm. Yeah, this isn't gonna sort of go, you know, like that. That doesn't go that way at all, because that just edges off. There's no, there's no sort of corner piece to do that. See what I mean about it? some of these can be really sort of um really annoying to do. Yeah, and there's no corner piece for that, so mm, fail to unlock and that we've got two more attempts onto that one anyway, so We'll work our way backwards because that sometimes is the easier way to do it. Hmm. Oh. I kind of had the uh, <laughs> the kind of root in my head then, so unless it's that way down. Oh look, that's oh my goodness! And now it's annoyed me. <laughs> I will stay on the bloody thing. Right, so I know that's going to have to be that way. So it needs to end up here somehow. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was a pain in the bottom. So it kind of goes uh, down this way. And then back up. That was a pain, that one. And that was the 2 5 one, wasn't it? So. If we go. Like this, start with uh, and I'll, I'll leave it like this on the screen for a second if you do have the two five one, and then you can see. Uh, there you go. We'll get the other points for this one. Oh, we've actually done this wrong. Okay. There we go. 
Oh, fiddlestick, stop it. I want myself a little bit too... too cocky then. I've done it again, haven't I? I've gone the wrong bloody way. There we go. <laughs> Just went the wrong bloody way. Wow. Right, so we've got 3-5. Anyway. Anyhow. Uh, that's no good going that way. Uh, that needs to not go that way either. No, there's no... No way, but it needs to go straight ahead. That can either go, that can only go that one way. That can go two ways. And that needs to be like that. And that could only go that way. Hmm. So let's just have a quick look. While well, we can still see the screen. So that could go down. That could go that way and that could go down. Right, okay, let's have another little go. So we'll work backwards because this is... It's just got too many sort of straights on this one. Now that's not going to be able to get up because there's no corner on this side. As long as we can get to the corners that take it to the straights. Oh, there you go. Heat pistol data. Yeah, it's like, as long as it goes to the corners so you're able to sort of change the direction, it should be absolutely fine. Right, okay, guys. I'm going to end it here because that was such a long, uh, a long, long video um, that I've recorded. So I'm going to have to sort of cut that somewhat uh, so we've learned the Pathlight Data Disk, uh, which I think we've did we already learned that one. Yes, we did. And we've got the Reactor Pistol Data Disk as well. So we've done that one. There's the other one that we learned. Don't want this one. Uh, and we've got the Heat Pistol. We didn't do that and we didn't do that, but I will do those in a moment just so I get the science points. And we've got the Heat Pistol Data Disk as well. So there we go. That's pistol. That's pistol. We don't want that one, so we can drop that one. Okay, so I've got these two. I can do those two just so I get the points. So that's what those discs are for. So if you do collect them up uh, and wait till you've got the computer there, you'll at least be able to do the kind of puzzles and uh, learn the the better pistols. Um, but the heat pistol, it. This one here, you just need the heat sink, um, these uh, heat cells for those. Uh, I suppose it depends on what you're fighting, uh, where you're fighting, what planet you're fighting on, that type of thing, uh, if they're going to be useful. There you go, guys. Right, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. Uh, until then, though, bye for now.